Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again for yet another unboxing video for you guys today. This is the day after the Oscars. We got Jamie Lee Curtis winning Best Supporting Actress uh, for Everything Everywhere All at Once. The same thing for uh, Kihi Kwan, Data from the Goonies, uh, winning an Oscar last night. And of course, Brendan Fraser winning for The Whale, which I think was uh, super cool. Do I think Jamie Lee Curtis deserved a win for Everything Everywhere all at once? Eh, she could have, you know, it could have been, you know, that, her character in that movie wasn't that deep. It was just kind of like a, a wacky little character, but Jamie Lee Curtis is cool and congratulations to her and everything like that. And, and the Oscars last night, she thanked, she thanked all the horror fans, which I thought was kind of badass. But before I get to the unboxings here, showing you guys a couple things uh, that came in the mail over the last, you know, few days or whatever, uh, I was going to say, when it comes to Jamie Lee Curtis, she's supposed to be making, not supposed to, but maybe might be making an appearance at Halloween 45 Years of Terror in Pasadena, you know, but that, that's like the rumor, but now after win her winning the Oscar, I want to know from your autograph fans or autograph collectors, do you think she's going to be making a, a con appearance now after winning an Oscar? Let me know down below in the comments, but let's get to these packages here. I have uh, some stuff I got sent from different studios or companies uh, to open up on video. I also have a, a big envelope here coming from the Autograph Alliance uh, on, uh, that I, the, a group I follow on Facebook. It's also a website and stuff. So let's, um, let's start by this package right here. This one, this, uh, this one came from FedEx and it might be maybe a Warner Brothers title, but let's find out together uh, right here. Oh, no, yeah, it is. It's Warner Brothers, and it's something that came out last week in stores everywhere that's out now. Bam! I got the Rocky, uh, what's it called? The Rocky 4K uh, box set here that has all the Rocky movies, well, 1, 2, 3, and 4, but it just doesn't have 5, Rocky 5, or Rocky Balboa, or any of the Creed movies. It's kind of a, it's kind of, it's a, it's a cool set, but it's kind of a weird one that's missing. I don't know, I don't know why it doesn't have at least 5 and Rocky Balboa in it. I can understand maybe the Creed movies not being in it, but it's just kind of weird. What, what do you guys think about that not having five and Rocky Balboa not included in this uh, set right here? But it also has, uh, of course, Rocky versus uh, Drago, the ultimate cut, that that version that um you know Stallone re went back and re-edited and everything like that. Kind of interested in seeing that version of it uh, of, of the movie here on 4K. That's gonna be kind of cool. But yeah, the Blu-ray got the 4K and the digital copy code. Of these movies, hell to the yes, the four pack, the knockout collection, bam! This is a this is a, this is a person I definitely want to have an autograph from in my collection. You know, Sylvester Stallone, really kind of pricey and everything like that, to be honest with you. But uh, let's move on up to the next package uh, we have here. We got a Manila envelope. Let's see what came to this one today. Huh? Okay, this one's coming from. Universal and it's women talking. Um, wasn't expecting this. I don't think I, I don't think I requested this one. But uh, inspired by True Events, starring Rooney Mara, uh, Jason Buckley, and Francis Francis McDormand. We got women talking. I'm sure Aaron is one of those ones that's in, er, into this one right here. It could it could be cool. It could be cool. I'm definitely gonna have to give this one a chance uh, very shortly. Uh, I don't know if this one's in stores quite yet, as of time I'm filming this, but there's no paperwork uh, inside here telling me when it's coming out. But um, women talking here from Universal Home Entertainment. Uh, let's move on to this next package, and this one feels kind of like a little bit heavier. It's in a little a little box, and uh, find out. Let's find out together what this could be. You know, sorry I've been lacking uh, on content lately. The the, the job I'm at. Uh, you know, I have a full-time job now, so it's kind of hard to make semi-consistent content, especially like out and about wise kind of stuff. You know, um, I'm, I'm filming this on Monday, and you're probably watching this on Monday. So after this, I'm gonna try to go out, go to a couple thrift stores, make a video and stuff. It should, you know, hopefully, hopefully. But uh, the video, uh, the the thing I have in this box, Babylon. Uh, this was sent on over from um, Paramount Home Entertainment. This is the Babylon. I believe, uh, yeah, Steelbook, 4K Blu-ray digital copy Steelbook, which should be in stores tomorrow uh, as you guys are watching this video. Uh, of course, starring Margot Robbie, directed by Damien, Ciz Ciz Damien Chazelle. 
uh, right here. Uh, this one looks like it could be cool, man, about old school Hollywood and things starring Brad Pitt, of course, Margot Robbie. I always like movies about Hollywood, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, we got Babylon, the Steelbook 4K Blu-ray set right there. It looks pretty damn cool, man. The artwork on here is pretty good, too. I really like the artwork on here is pretty cool. If you guys have seen this movie already, let me know what, guys, what you guys thought about it. In the in the comments down below, and let's see what the oh there's no paperwork in here, but I'm sure I'm gonna believe it's out tomorrow, uh, as as I'm filming this video here. But we got another one. I know I know what this one is, uh, cause on the front it has like my address and everything, but it, then it tells me uh, what it is on the box. It's kind of a cool movie. Saw it in theaters, and uh, it's kind of cool to get it now. That uh, he won the Oscar, the whale. Uh, this is the, of course from A24. Uh, films right here starring Brendan Fraser. He has the same name as me, the same exact spelling except for their last name. And uh, this one was just a heartbreaking movie, man. Uh, uh, you know about this guy. <coughs> sorry, um, that you know suffers from obesity, has a, a you know uh, a past that uh, you know he, he broke up with his wife, and you know he wants to you know re reconcile with his daughter and things like that. But he's going through. And he's also an online school teacher. It, it's, it's it's a pretty damn good movie. It's one of those movies that. Um, I don't see myself watching all the time or like over and over again and stuff like that because it's like super depressing, especially to a person like myself that, um, you know, you know, suffers from obesity and, you know, overeating when I, when it comes to my feelings and things like that. Um, like, you know, I, I totally get the character and he won the, he won for best actor last night, uh, at the Academy Awards for this movie. And it's just kind of cool to, to, to have this one in my collection right here and, uh, congratulations uh, to, uh, Brendan Fraser, man, I never thought that Encino Man, Encino Man himself, would, would, would ever win an Oscar, but god dang it, hell yes, that's super cool, man, I, th I think it's rad, Brendan Fraser's always cool since that, the mummy, airheads, the whale, but, um, yeah, man, Darren Aronofsky's The Whale, uh, out in stores t tomorrow, I believe, should be in stores everywhere tomorrow, if you guys want to get a copy of this one, I'm not sure why it's not getting a 4K, but, um, Maybe sometime down the line, I'm sure. But we got the whale here, super cool. Can't wait to check out at least the special features on here. There's there's two of them. Uh, it was called like the making of the whale and the sounds of the sea uh, scoring the whale. Uh, yeah, dude, this movie was this movie was depressing. I ain't gonna lie. I am not gonna lie. But that's all the movies um, I got sent uh, from different companies to talk about for videos to showcase, let people know it's out and things. But now I'm gonna get to these autographs right here. I know some people. That watch these videos like, okay, enough of the autographs already, Brendan. Uh, this, this, one, this one right here is coming, or these ones are coming from the Autograph Alliance. Uh, my boy Brian Calloway uh, over there is a, a street grapher uh, who, you know, who goes out on the streets and, you know, gets autographs from people outside of, like, concerts and movie premieres and different events and things. And uh, he also has these mystery box shows uh, that he does on his Facebook and stuff. Uh, he has high roller ones, low roller ones, uh, pr different price points and stuff. And, you know, you, 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 he has like 30 boxes or sometimes a little bit more. And, you know, you put in like whatever, 60 bucks or whatever the price is of said box. And you always hope for a headliner. And uh, this one right here, uh, I'm going to show you guys uh, what I got in here today. Coming from Brian Calloway. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a link for his uh, Facebook group. Uh, in the description box, make sure you guys uh, check it, check him out. Let him know that Wet Movie One sent you. If you guys do join uh, his Facebook group, Autograph Alliance, uh, on there, I should have. I'm gonna have it on, as a top of the description box. The top of the description box is Brian is always a, a cool guy. He always uh, you know hooking it up and chit chatting, chit chatting with me all the time. Love that dude. There's three items in here. I don't know what to show you guys first. Uh, okay, but we, I'm, I'm gonna show you this one first. This one's kind of badass. This is like an album cover. Uh, this is an album cover right here. And um, signed by Snoop Doggy Dog. Uh, right there up on the 818 sign. Signed by Snoop Doggy Dog. I, I don't know. I always, I always like Calvin Brodus. I always think he's super cool. Uh, from the, you know, not just, the, not, just, not just his music, but um, of course the movies like The Wash and Bones. And I mean, Bones wasn't really great. But uh, I always liked Snoop Dogg. I always thought he was cool. It's kind of weird now that he's like, the, over the last handful of years, has been like, you know, teaming up with like Martha Stewart and stuff. And like doing stuff with Martha Stewart. That, this, it seems kind of, sh kind of crazy. Uh, but the other thing uh, that I got in here, because I, 
in the mystery box show that I entered, I entered that he that he was doing. Um, I hit one of the uh, headlining headlining items, one of the bigger items in the show, and it was an autographed picture of Jack Black, like on the you know on the on the red carpet of like you know Kung Fu Panda or something like that. I mean, Jack Black is cool. I would love to get his autograph on like you know like that you know anything Tenacious D, like Tenacious D in the Pick of Destiny or something like that. That that would have been cool. But just like the picture itself is just kind of like, eh, what am I gonna do with this? Because I'm like more of a poster guy you know, mini poster collector, and uh, so I ended up trading that one for these ones uh, right here uh, from uh, from him. This one even has my name in there, like, you know, he has like a little, my little nameplate, or whatever you want to call it, inside there, but uh, I ended up trading it for a, a Jackass number two po uh, mini poster, of course, of Steve-O, signed by Steve-O right there, uh, he always looks like he's like signing something phallic, but uh, that's Steve-O. Uh, on a Jackass number two poster, which is pretty cool. Uh, I was like, I was like Jackass movies, obviously. Cause I just got Bam's autograph. Uh, but the the big one, the big one to me uh, in this one, next to Snoop Dogg and stuff, is uh, I got a Bad Santa poster, mini poster signed by Billy Bob Thornton, which that that to me is killer, man. Billy Bob Thornton on a Bad Santa, which is my favorite movie uh, that he that he's uh, that he's in. Uh, of course, Bad News Bears, the remake is cool. And, uh, you know, like, I, I, don't, I don't really care that much about his dramas and stuff. Like, Sling Blade was cool and everything. But Bad Santa is my favorite. And I'm glad I'm able to get a, a mini poster signed by Billy Bob Thornton on there. Next, I got to try to add uh, Tony Cox one day. Tony Cox is, like, one of the, one of the funniest characters in the movie. But, uh, yeah, that's what I got from the Autograph Alliance. Jackass poster signed by Steve-O. Billy Bob Thornton on Bad Santa. And... A Snoop Doggy Dog. To me, that's kind of cool. Thank you, Brian, from the Autograph Alliance. Make sure you guys check him out to his Facebook group. Link down below. And, uh, guys, that's all I really have to show and talk to you guys about today. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought was the coolest item I opened up in this video. And also, give me your thoughts and opinions on the Oscars last night. Even though I never, I didn't watch the full show, I, did, I was at work. Uh, I just wanted to just, like, look at the recaps kind of things. But I was really excited and happy for Brendan Fraser and uh, Kihi Kwan, you know, Data from the Goonies winning something. Those two guys are just, they seem like cool, genuine dudes, you know what I mean? Cool, genuine people. And I was just happy that they, uh, they got an award, even though I don't really care about these big award shows. It was just kind of cool to see that those two guys got something, you know? It's kind of rad. But thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.